Welcome back, Mr. Witness. Uh, in the last session, we had a discussion about the demonstration at Westville. We discussed about your arrest by the paramilitary intervention unit. We discussed your detention at the set parliamentary intervention unit at Kanifing. You told the commission how you were transferred to Mile 2 Central Prisons. And we were also discussing about your detention and torture at the NIA headquarters. May we continue from there? Silang isa damu da kaboto. You may tell us after you were taken out from the panel room what happened next. Silang isa fo nye bri ye bondi ila alfa kafu bongo nyingko no ye muneketa kotenge. Inata nusamba bondi ondo loko no? They took us into another smaller room. Ye mbe kafu nyo mawalto. We were all put together there. And then we were handcuffed. And we were returned the way we came. Can you tell this commission how many of you there were? Yes, there were six of us. 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 So you're telling the commission that 26 of you were returned back to Mile 2 Central Prisons. No, we didn't all return together. How many of you were returned? The 20 of us were returned. Out of those 20 people, Two of them were people who were uh, students. I am not. Uh, I don't know how those people were released. Because after the beatings took place, I didn't see them again at the prison. Apart from yourself. Was anyone else tortured at the NIA? Yes, Ibrahim Sise. Ibrahim Sise. Ibrahim Janko Sise. Ibrahim Janko Sise. Asotatale ya nyinke se fula kati. They broke two two of his teeth. Alawo nyinke se fulo. Those two broken teeth. Ebrin yembondi tumomena awala nyinke se fula yeyi tandi. When we came out, he showed me the two broken teeth. I helped him to cut off part of his trouser leg. And uh, I, I put those two broken teeth in, inside that cloth and I told him to keep it. For tomorrow. For tomorrow, yeah. Earlier on, you had also indicated that from the list that we have tendered as 167, there were about five individuals who are now deceased from that list. 
Do you know whether their deaths had anything to do with the ordeal that they suffered from the torture at the NIA? Oh, afura tayla lo ndoto la bangu. Fo ila saya ni asababu ta kolea le mentaki NIA la usanzango na watu mene be mudo kono bangu. Ha, lamin maron na saya waketa wallet. Yes, it was lamin maron's death was caused by the ordeal he went through. Was kabiri muda. Because when we left the torturing center, well, he, it's, he started by yawning. He said, Lamin Fati put his hand in his mouth. He said from the moment Lamin Fati put his son in his mouth and took it out, he started yawning and vomiting. Well, we have not reached, we have not yet reached the stage where he explained everything to me at Makati. But when we reach there, I will explain the rest of what he said. Thank you, Mr. Ture. You've referred back to Lamin Fati. Mr. Ture, and in Barabake. Lamin Fati too for Kotanke. It is correct to say that this is Lamin Fati NIA agent. Lamin Fati NIA agent. Yes. Lamin Fati NIA Can you tell this commission if he played any role in your torture or any of the tortures that you are aware of. Salam for isa fono commission nyin la min fati nyin fo ata fanam bulu mata kula la bang tembo men na be 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 tata ke tagire ya waranto ke bute. Atale lota atale lota ngunda ko e la moyna ye la moy kabri ako ye la moy so atale lota ngunda ko nyeko fo usen da bolal to dunyena. Yes because it was this same la min fati when they were beating me he came and stood over me and told them to wait. When they were waiting he asked me, you people, were you sent by uh, uh, Davo, Davo. Sent Davo to do, do what you have done? You may continue. Then? When he asked me, Were you sent by Usenu Davo? I said, No. Usenu Davo didn't send us. In fact, he was not even aware of our demonstration when we started, when we mobilized. That's the time when he was going out, he said to them to continue and beat me. They beat me until I became flat. The time I became aware or conscious of my surrounding was the time when I woke up and they told us to go out uh, and I ascended from the table. Mr. Ture, do you know what position the said Lamin Fati was holding at the NIA? Mr. Ture, you Lamin Fati told me, you don't know what you're talking about, but you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. No, I don't know what rank he was holding. At the time you were at the NIA, do you know who the DG was? What do you mean by NIA? You don't know what you're talking about at the NIA. Yankuba Baji. Yankuba Baji. Do you also know who was the head of operations at that time? Yalo na ena yeye do go be nyarong kwa juu maalum marlen do go nina do go be thamando ikafme operations. Operation commander. Hmm. A operation commander atle mo atle yangu ba baji. Sol 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 baji. Ha yangu ba baji sorry. Yangu ba baji. If you do not remember, you do not have to say no. any name to the same. I don't remember. No, I cannot remember. I forgot. Thank you. We will later explain to the commission why you forgot most of these incidents. After the torture at the NIA, can you tell this commission if anything else happened? Buhero ni kola mengine la NIA la usanzango na jevo. Isa phoneo commissiono hani kabi fuku do kusoro ndalaba mengine la jevo. Ah, kuketa na mene alonga kuketa na hakili bonga hakili otare ata sain kani na. Yes, when something happened to me, from the moment of that beating, absent-minded. I I I I start forgetting things quickly, easily, which caused, which I can say is. Part of absent-mindedness. Because you need to come over, sign, sign, sign. 
because I can uh, discuss uh, with you right now. And I will go out of this room, then I will not be able to remember anything of that. First time, Kabiri Nata Janganna said Menodi. The first time when I came here, I gave my statement. I support the government uh, Lopetan Kaitul Me Konga Fenke Ungina Tawa Fawala Le Nasa Ita Koteke. I was told to bring along my support because documents Obemu, from the hospital, but even those documents, I forgot them. Obemu Oku Killing Alta. It's all because of the absent-mindedness. Mm. So you're telling this commission that the effect it had on you is that it caused you some memory loss. Munta Ita Koteke Me Konga Fenke Ungina Tawa Fawala Le Nasa Ita Koteke. So you're telling this commission that the effect it had on you is that it caused you some memory loss. Munta Ita Koteke uh, I will say about my back. Yes, that's, it, that's what it brought on me. Now, Mr. Ture, can you tell the commission what happened after the beatings? Silang, Hanin Kabi, Mr. Ture, after the commission, I will not be able to bring the water to the water. I will not be able to bring the water to the water. I will not be able to bring the water to the prison. After the beating, they took us out and we were returned to the prison. You're referring to mile two central prison. You got prison, well, yeah. mile two castle bombard. Ah, yes. Can you tell the commission around what time you were taken back? Silang kaninga bi isa phoneo commission ngai yinketa montoro wa di jumala ke murundi castle bombardo mile two. Around quarter after four, ma phone. Around quarter after four. Was it in the morning or in the evening? Samanda lambang fa ularo. In the morning because ngaji be elamoto pick up oni na phone ko time oni to calendar time oni to ngaji suffering je watol. It was. Bida tu moment na fana ngat pick up ola nyaro fana jibe ngat time oji be ola yata na ngah wo wo biang hakilo kono. Yes, when we were going, I looked at the time on the pick up dashboard, and when we were being returned also, I look at the time on the pick up dashboard. Can you please tell this commission what happened next after you were taken back to my two prisons? I think I have a phone call. Commission, I have a phone call. 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 At the same time, I have a phone call. I have a phone call. When we were returned to the prison, we alighted from the vehicle. I have a phone call. And the handcuffs were removed. And we were put inside. And they came and wrote down our names again, and the people who escorted us, their names were also written down. And each person was returned to your cell again. Kabiri uwo lungo la yen murundi na cell okono tiltang anin kononto. When I was returned to my cell, tiltang anin kononto be sealing. I was sealed for 19 days. During those 19 days, Mokata Unku, Mokata, Ni Ajem Fintida, Yen Nakemba Poton, Tara Najala Mutolo Bon Murana. I don't, I don't take bath and I don't do anything else. If you see me going out, it is I have to go and empty my Kemba pot and come back. We are Domoroni Ekadina. Bunda ni ngai farau dola soto eka bunda eka domoro yote mawalto. Even my food is given to me through a small hole which was on the floor. Even if I need water, that's where they just pass the water to me. But then nata mo kilen soto je anata balafa soto ni bage. But there was somebody who is who's really sympathized me. Don't make better the game. And not me alone. He sympathized all of us. You can find CD Jaite. He's called CD Jaite. Wasi di jaite ai pen pen fongo doso ro borke so doso da kadi na momo killing killing. Sidi jaite was the person who was giving us painkillers. He gives one tablet to each person. So ninga o mien fa so mo koteke. When when we drink that till the following day. Bari nga prison department ninge no ma puru fombe boroso la bang ikwenda boroso la. But we tried to get medication from the prison department themselves. But they said no. They will not provide us with medical. Nenga police or police ukuma nenga for eko endolman otor endolman sembe soro puru. And even any police officer, the prison police officers, when we call them and tell them, they will say no. We are not empowered to provide medication for you. Unko bari mul balo bebe bara marenting. Mbeo nyama jang borte je fon fente je kam a kana kandu ni ngatara bungo no nyama kwa. I told them, look at us. We have injuries on our bodies. 
and we are suffering. Now we need medication, and now you are saying that you cannot provide any medication, so we are going to be left like this in these rooms? We were left like that until when our wounds were dried up. Within those 19 days, we went on complaining. And then we I, I, I went on complaining and telling them, 19 days we are sealed, we don't go out, we don't sit out. Can't you, forget, can't you allow us to go out and sit down outside like others? We always tell the uh, Kebasise in the morning when he comes around to check on us. Because he was the person in charge of the area where we have been locked up. He's the senior man around that area. Not a complainer and 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 again we repeated the complaint to him and told him for 19 good days we have been sealed in here. So on that 19th day he said, Okay, now I will try my level best so that you people will be allowed to come out. So Anatana Molum Masoto. We were not allowed to go out that day. Uh, uh, following so more, the following day when he came, he said, let, let them open the door so that we can go and take bath. We went and took bath. So we, after taking bath, we were also allowed to rest like all the others. But we later had some information. David because then later on we had this news that David Kohli said, as far as we are enemies of Yaya Jammi, why should Kebasise allow us to, 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 to us to come out and be free inside the compound? So police will demand be kacha kangala so mbella moy kangala so enantana Kebasise had time in the four yala ala joining Yakuntu. Then I heard this from the police, the prison police themselves, they were discussing this, and this, pro, pro, this uh, brought a problem for Keba Sisi. In fact, it resulted in, he, in the deduction of his salary. Because the reason was that why should he allow us to come out ourselves and be free? So, Keba Yala Jokunda Ameta Kamfa Kama Amana Natuno Je Ngamwe Eko Arisayenta. Then, after the deduction of his salary, uh, uh, he stayed there for some time. Because of anger, he said he cannot continue the job. And later on, I heard that he resigned from the job. So, Mr. Ture, you're telling this commission that David Coley, the then DG of Maltu Central Prisons, Mr. Ture, I come from Commission William Nindiko, Director General Member Nunje, David Coley. Was not happy that an officer assisted you in taking a bath. A man say, when you know, do you remember because you know, I cut a cool fair, I told Dema, Purkal, Alephinti, Alieku. After 19 days of being locked up in a cell. The moment the Alta La Morocco and the Celo and the Kilimoto for Tiltang and in Conanto. He was not happy. Can you continue to tell this commission about the other treatments that you received in Mile to Central Prison? When we were going into those cells, there were small uh, 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 sponges inside those rooms, small mat mattresses. But after this incident, all those mattresses were removed from the cells. Because the beds were very small. 
and there were uh, bricks. I have to take off my shirt and spread it. And as, uh, I lie down on that uh, uh, shirt till daybreak. Mr. Ture, were you allowed visitation from your family? Mr. Ture, were you allowed visitation from your family? No, they didn't allow that. At that point, did you have any legal representation? What was the most of the people who were legal representatives? What was the bar association that was a fair okay? That was the time when the bar association set a plan. So, I was a man who was a man who was a man. Which was Antman Gay and his uh, group. Those are the people who got up and stood for us. At this time, were you already taken to a court of law? What was the court of law? We were never taken to a court till the time when Antman Gay, when these people got up and stood for us. You may continue. And then? Gabriel, what of Fengeta? After that time, Narana Lundo Sota Yemfint in the Go Binkata court. So one day we were taken out and they told us that we were going to court on that day. Ntara court. We went to court. BJ. We were there. So in Arna Foko, your court near Ajoin. And we were later informed that the court case has been. But then your court Ajoin Nang and in a complaint. But before the adjournment of the case, we complained that because uh, because where we were taken was a very difficult place. Uh, so we were taken to a court and we were taken to a court and we So we, we, we requested for us to be removed from that place and let them take us to remain so no, that complain. we can see our families. That's the complaint we made on that day. When we made that complaint, on the whole, we should have been, we should have kept quiet and remain where we were. Because uh, remain in Because where they took us at the remand wing, yeah, that place is very difficult. Because if we are lying down. We lie down as they pack sardines in a, in a tin of sardines. So, uh, because you have to lie down on one side. If you are tired, you just get up and turn and lie down on another side. Ha, obeni nkolea, anikando. Uh, and that was that goes along with hardship, difficulty, and heat. The benda remain benda cell or memfe. The cell I was putting inside the remand wing. Benda yusfajite la cell or lefe. I was in the cell with yusfajite. Yusfajite la cell or kono na ntetarta walto. That cell where Yusufajite was, that's the cell I was in. We were 25 people in that one cell. 25 of us were in that cell. And we were Because the first day I came in there, I resisted saying that I cannot stay here because it just looked like a burial or it looked like a cemetery. But I saw that while well, people like me are just lying inside that hole. I use for for I be men kela ete wule I lying in temanto. Then Yusufa talked to one young man there and told him, "You get up and lie down on the other side." Of ana mba kela dalilo yakan because in very mind what mo men na ninga. Ninga cigarro di mana ni namul bul. Muka cigarro sebab barim be cigarro di mana, mbate jual awa cigarro la puru ala lara orang injo. Because what I did was that, because when I am in there, if I demand cigarettes, when they give it to me, I have to pay that young man the cigarettes that have been given to me so that I can get his place. You must be holo men kono je kamau be auto fan auto suto e ka kamau ke albe ka tara lari ndo e wula e kamau ke because in that hall that there was a toilet 
If so when we are all lying down at night, anybody who wants to go to the toilet, you get up, you can go to the toilet in the room there. Bundaka soto tongoto, walto mukamote, kemba poto katar luari walto, ye fani ndi wangkate etara kamato tala, mobet luwebela. And uh, the camera pot is placed just near the door. And there was a small piece of cloth which was hanging around the camera pot. So at night, if you are going to the toilet, these other people will be in the, in the room there hearing everything that is going on at the toilet. So we camera pot of an akuo ne katabon alika asinne. And also to go and empty the camera pot, we took it, we took it by turns. So now for that time, four eight are born one for the world. And if the tongue reaches you, it's by force. You are going to empty the camber pot. But now after our fanaman came, our fan, as soon mota, me alone go catch your sicker tola. But in it, our amari in it, our esa jo la teta kuye. If 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 uh, uh, you cannot go and empty it yourself, then you have to pay somebody with cigarettes who will go and empty it for you and wash the camber pot. So abe wale nyam. That's how we were staying in that room. So, Mr. Ture, it is correct that you're telling this commission that it was a court order that now remanded you in prison. Mr. Ture, silang ika hunta ika mefo komisyon ay walang yinti ko kiti o wale kango di puro ka yal samba riman walang ingi yal samba kaso rejal ba diamond. Ha, yes. Is it also correct that the court gave you another day to appear before? For 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 kanya lang yinti fana ba for kiti o lungo do fana di alal ba lungo man na yun nanda kal murundi ng kiti dula do fana for my role, ha, nga sinya fulaleke. Yes, we went to the court on two occasions. Kabira bota bato. After that, o sinya fuloro. After those two occasions, on the 14th June, on the 14th of June, sunkaro telekonando. Coincided with the ninth day of the Ramadan. Inatan tolo bondi. Then we were taken out. Tolo mo tang aningkonon. Tay mo tang ningkile. Eleven of us. Mr. Tule. Can you tell the commission who you're referring to as take, had taken you out? Nico Yalfindindi. For his arm, I told him, May Alfindindi. David Colley. It was David Colley. Continue. Then. Ian Bondi. They took us out. And the Minister of Interior. Plus the Minister of Interior. Wole Ian Bondi, I can't refer Makati. He took us out and said that we have been referred to go to Makati. Mr. Ture, can you tell the commission the name of the then interior minister? Jumala Munung, interior minister of Wadola. Usman Sonko. It was Usman Sonko. You may continue. Tenten Kaboro. Kabiri, he had a noma, because then he had a noma, he had a 12 o'clock, he had a mole bed in the lal. Because even before they came for us, around 12 o'clock, everybody has to go in. If they bring anybody else also, you will go in at the same time. So around 12. And we were just there, and I saw that all of us were put inside at 12. Any list or not? They came with a list. So I was in my cell. I was in my cell. They said, Modu Ture. I said, yes, they said, come out. I went out. They asked me, where are your belongings? I told them I didn't come here with anything. Just these clothes I'm wearing, these are the things I came here with. I said, except I had a bag where the food that people gave me, that's the food I put inside that bag. I went out with that bag. Lord, I went out and find other people outside. People like Falan Sonko. No go injai. No go injai. Fatumata Jawara. Fatumata Jawara. Fatu Kamara. Fatu Kamara. Modungom. Modungom. Uh, Ibrahima, Ibrahima. Ibrahim Ajaban. Ibrahim Ajaban. Kafu Bayo. Kafu Bayo. Alaji Fati. Alaji Fati. If you don't remember all the names, it does not matter. Ninga ya tarai mimi mulebe tu muda no tana te wado. Ah, okay. So enara na mfindende. Then we were taken out. Kabiri mfindende moment na. When we were taken out already. 
Bari jani bi ansamba lango yuko nte tita nte ta nte malong kara dami jani bi ta fonga futa uselma ngafa alikansa mbala alben samba kanda malo. I told them I cannot go like this before you are taking us before you take us out because yeah. I don't know where you are taking us and before that I want to inform Usainu about that. People are na? taking us. They wanted to refuse. Il a fait balana. They wanted to refuse. So, first time, nga molu kong kongolan taran tara usenin ngol be ebe dame. I also resisted. I forced myself and went to the wing where usenu and others were uh, held. Mr. Chair, can again. you tell this commission what wing you're referring to? Eh, niko o wing. Ibe mu ibe mu mu nalaku wing la foka. Mu na wati. To moment na ibe mfinde ni kampur kan samba makati. It was the time when they were taking us out to take us to Makati. Otumo malo ikan samba dami exactly because imani songa fola nyeko iben samba kai kwenye authority ya dumbo lukonga samba ungomindo yuko imalo. Because we didn't know where we were going, and when I questioned them, they said they don't know where they are taking us because they were just giving the authority to take us out and take us to somewhere. Mr. No. Thank you. You referred to an Usainu Dabo. A particular wing. Oh yeah, Just want to understand better for the commission. Which Le wing are you referring to? Remind remind part flight. There are two sections at the remind. There was a big division between us and where Hussein and others are. It was a big, uh, tall wall between us. Hussein and others were on the left hand side and we were on the right hand side. Even you go in there. I went to Hussein there. I said to him, Usenu, he said yes. I stood at their door because they were also put inside and their door was locked already. I said to him, well, these people have come for us and they said they are going to take us away. And I don't know where they are taking us. He said, is that so? I said, yes. He said, okay, have faith in Allah and just go along with them. I said, okay. That's how we went out. I went and stood in a queue. The paramilitary officers who were there, the, the he, stood, he stood in front of me. He told me, here we are here to collect you people. We are just people who were sent. So we will take you away. You, you people have been entrusted for us to take you. I asked him where are you taking us? He said, no, let's just go. Wherever we are going, when we reach that place, you will know. Mr. Ture, do you, name, do you know the name of the person who came to pick you up? No, I don't know him. If you were to see him again, would you recognize him? No, I don't him. No, I don't know him. No, I will not recognize him. Continue. Do you want to tell the commission where you were taken to? Then you have a commission where you were taken to. So, Kabri, when we boarded the vehicle, we went out of mile two. We headed towards Serakunda. When we arrived at Westfield, so then they headed towards Tabokoto. They were beating other vehicles around and told them to give way. But at that time, we were handcuffed together, two to a handcuff. And we were on board a truck and we were made to sit down on the floor. And you have to sit down and open your legs. Somebody will sit down between your open legs. And his hand is handcuffed to another person's hand. That's how we were made to sit on this truck, in this oh, truck. 
Because in baby, Otomola and baby, more baby, they were more malon can some madam, but Jamaya Mutan and Kofoy can some bar can in Lyle. Because everybody among us, all of us, were agitated and angry because some of us thought that we were being taken to Kanilai. Modern Gombesir and Yanga, Fayanga, Gongo, Siam Kilinetti, Ngaiwa Lembula, and somebody out of Alcana Fingaling at Adro. Modern Gom was sitting nearby. I said to him, Now, death comes only once. Wherever they want to take us, let's just go. Let's, them, let's allow them to take us wherever they want to take us along. Mr. Tudor, uh, can you tell this commission where they ended up taking you? Mr. Tudor, in Makati. Then later on, we passed Kanilai and we were taken to Makati. Can you tell this commission where in Makati you were taken? Makati, Minto, Yal Samba Damendo. Janjambure Prison. Janjambure Prison. Continue to tell the commission what happened after you arrived at Janjambure prisons. Silang hani kabi afo commission ay ya afo bring alfred at Janjambure kasi bungoto muna nara na kaya wado fanang. Alfred kasi bungoto tembo mena um before alay tembo mena around fifty mafon around six to seven mafon. When we arrived at the Janjambure prison, it was around from six to seven in the evening. Abrem for that ay ingindi. When we arrived and we were alighted, we made to alight from the vehicle. Janin bejila momo eka eka keno bondi mo fulol balale. Then it was time for us to come <coughs> off the truck. They will remove the handcuff from the hands of the two people chained together. Na killing killing ji. We come down one by one. So in gita. After we all came down. Mfudata ulo fanala reception auto. We went to the reception of the prison. So mfudata je tu moment na. When we reached their reception, we found a woman there. I don't know the name of this woman. We were standing there. And then they went to call her from a place where she was camped. But when she arrived, when she came, once she came along with us, we saw that she was wearing a clothes, a, a material of Yaya Jamis' a, 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 a pictures on the clothes. So, at a member, at a member, at a member, no, at a member, no, I go, oh, man, Taraje, oh, be, oh, be, leave for love tomorrow. They said her boss was on leave at that time. So, and I don't know the file or what. She came and took our file. Yem samba bumba member ni ati ni wale yem bando wale samba bundo koma la bundo bado beje. The big hall where we started, we were removed there and took us another into another hall which was behind the first hall. Nara na mo tan sabaning fula tarawa, mo tan sabaning kilen tarawa. We found another thirty-one people inside that second hall. When we joined them, we became 42 people. We asked them. They said they were arrested since on the 9th of May. And the reason for their arrest was when we were being taken to court, that's the time when they came out and they were also arrested and taken uh, away. The room where we found them was very, very hot. Because, because, if, because if you take bath and come out, the, the, the sweat that you were having on your body and you go and take bath, you will come back again with the same sweat. I asked them, since at what time were you here? They said they spent one month, 15 days there. Mr. Ture, the people that you found at Janjambure, Mr. Ture, any moment that Janjambure, Kasi Bumura, do you know what party supporters they were? Yeah, I know party can do you my moldem. UDP supporters, they were UDP supporters. Were there any women amongst them? No, they were only males. There was no female among them. In your batch, were there women amongst you? 
Itela kafo ni mol kono be kafo men kono fo muso be kono la ba. Ah muso sa ba beje. Yes there were three women in our group. Were you all taken to the same cell area? Fo yal be samba cell fan na kilingol la ba. Ani muso li fan so remain so to jail. No women had their own remand wing there. Can you tell us how long you were detained in Janjambure? Silam fo isa fo no nye wa di jellel si ital ta maroko no Janjambure la okase bu ngoro je. Are kelen til tanne lolu. 1 month 15 days. Can you tell this commission if anything has happened in Janjambure? Silam hanin gabi fo isa fo no commission e fo ko na botolo fo ku do fana na na kela jela ban Janjambure kase bu ngoro je. Ah mesiringe mesiringe I was there for a matter for some time. Lu ngele enata Suba mafan one day they came early in the morning around 5 around 5 am announce announcement also to go be meet a court le and we were had an announcement saying that we were going to court on that day ko meet a court min to le i said where are we going to court ko meet a court ma jara mansa congo they said we were going to court in mansa congo Mr. Ture, who told you that you were being taken to court on that day? Ulungole ni juma le kwe kwa bi ibal sambala court le mansa kongo. Jiso, it was Jiso. You may continue. And then, Jiso le ya fanya. Jiso gave us that information. Akwanya bi albita court le. Saying that today you are going to court. Bari now court nimbita atelekatara marle na kuli ben na atelekata. Because when going to that court, he is the person we go along with. He is responsible for all our things. Okay, na first day, our first day, kabrinta ra yendunde truko kono. When we were made to board a truck, yenki ne. We were chained again. Yo faru kamara ne farmara jawara. Faru kamara and farmara jawara. Yole yenki ne yobala. They were chained together. No ko injai. No ko injai. Because Abulu kwenye ngo be katerin, because one of her fingers were broken, was broken. Abulu be itirin, and her finger was swollen. Eko ba kieni la? They wanted to put a chain on her hand. Eko ba kana kieni wakeni na? I told them don't put a chain on this hand. Abulu be katerin, Abulu be itirin. Dar bina kieni la la. Look, her hand, her finger is broken. Eko ngande. Now it's swollen, and you want to put a chain there. Eko ngande wanta na hajori ngana 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 af. They said let me keep quiet, keep quiet. That's not my business. Let me not say that. Then she was handcuffed. Narnata. We went. Be sungaro kono be be mitaka. It was in the Ramadan when we were going. Bebe sundine. We were all fasting. So ndara fo wula wula wulo dla jang. We went until into a very far place in the forest. Ah, ma farma da jawara na na foko alafte jala mutalal. Then farma da jawara said she wanted to ease herself. Eko ntalola. Eko eko talola. They said they will not stop. Ngamoto kwe kwa alu eko talola. We said to them let them stop. They said no, they will not stop. Moto ni nata na pana. Then the vehicle had a breakdown. Has a breakdown. Moto pana da. The vehicle broke down. So para military men kido be buluji te dlal muta. So the paramilitary officers who were with us came down and they were having guns. However, all of us were handcuffed, but we tried and alighted from the vehicle. But Sorry. Sorry. But uh, I have to beg for forgiveness here. Fatmata Jawara had to ease herself inside her cup, uh, which she uses to drink her to drink tea. So okola motonat na pana. Then after that, the vehicle broke down. Natana game angela mota. Then we all alighted from the vehicle and went to ease ourselves. But alanat na ke wo wo tiltan wo ti karikel tiltan ni lulu ngai kiti ya mbia aramisa aramisa nimfuta tao juu ya rodo moto kapana au dingirado. But with uh, 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 well, I don't know whether it was uh, the, uh, the grace of Allah. Every Thursday when we reach that same spot, that's where the vehicle gets a breakdown. Umur opi wa wa truck kilimo nimfutari gero mfai pana ji. The same truck. Whenever we reach that spot, it will break down. Besi la lokote ke 
We have to sit down. Ye pick up fula or lua tan and kotege waliena yenanka makotege ngasi nyoka kotege ngataki tibla. And they will bring two more pickups to pick us from that spot and take us to the court uh, uh, house. Janim me futala before we reach. Akata time or kata back. It's it really gets late. And in kolaya. And that's all along with hardship. So me waloko no. That's how we were faring. Until they decided to check to a picket date. Na na futa follow kiti dula. Our first arrival at the courthouse. Ah, eko e kiti adjourn. They said the court has been adjourned. Kiti adjourn nukola. After the adjournment of the case. Yen samba Mansa Kongo Police Station. We were taken to the Mansa Kongo Police Station. Mvuta da. When we reached there, but court here in Afoko, ni ma murundi no my two prison here in Samba Mansakong, here in Samba Makati. But the what the court said was that if they cannot take us to my two, let them take us to here in Samba Ming. Kambonde, Kambonde, many man samba no mile to ye murundi Makati. If they cannot take us to mile two, let them return us to mile to Makati. So say ko ngata moto batu. They said, let us go and wait for a vehicle. We went to the police station to wait for a vehicle there. When we reached the police station, they opened the cell. They said, let's go inside the cell. The, the, the ladies were uh, sat over the, behind the counter. We went in. We started the ambulance. I started talking. I said to my people, this cannot be possible because this is, this is not what, what brought us here. We didn't kill anybody. We didn't destroy anybody's property. We have not done anything to so anybody. As far as the court order was to take us back to the prison, why are they putting us in a cell here? So uh, for what was it? And at that time, fifteen the ambulance motor like a maroon the macaat got it. Then later on, uh, a vehicle came and we were made to board the vehicle and they took us back to Makati. Na na flanja on our second trip. Na ra got it. When we came, the same time the court adjourned got it. At the same time again, the case was adjourned. We were taken back to the same place again. We found that the, the cell doors were opened and they decided to spill water inside the cell cells. I was the first, pine, first person to go in. When I stood at the gate of the at the door of the cell, I said nobody will go inside these cells. Because that place immigration. Was uh, police uh, uh, bele beje. because the place was full paramilitary officers immigration police they were so all there were bele beje. even soldiers were there in certain start and go balu beje sa beje to to do nay ngi kono because in dol man nay ngi jam muna na albe albe selo kono sinan la control yedu in selo kono ko moto na be pala jam bar moto na ja i said whether it is life and death whatever happens no one will go into the cells why do you have to put water inside the cells and for us, in fact, why do you have to bring us here? So in Anna Siranjang upon the Ban Siranjang. Then they brought out a bench. They put it at the doors of the cells and said, Let us let us sit down. That's where we sat down and the ladies sat on another uh, uh, on order, another bench. For motor nata. Until the vehicle arrived. So, when we when the vehicle arrived, we took we went out and we were all handcuffed again and placed on board the vehicles. We returned. Whenever we come, that's the place where we will always sit down. That's where we always sit down. Before they return us back. Until the, until the day they said the case has been terminated. At the termination of the case, they said, they said judgment took, well, they did the judgment on the day they did the judgment, they said we have been jailed for three years. Because of uh, uh, 
Because we have uh, we, com we, we we have done something which is akin to uh, uh, hmm? misconduct. misconduct, something like misconduct. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Paramilitary uh, head helmet or helmet kotolu million koy teta ani mala gada fonkol mel be teta wo koto mali wala sikana ye jurum e kontrol le yowti ani bereba and the broad uh, 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 broken helmets and some other broken things and and, and and stones and they said we were the people who committed a crime like destroying those things so the, the court found you guilty munta kito yal bo endi tu miro lay mel lal Ah, and yes. you were sentenced to three years. But at that time, we have not been represented but by we have not been represented by the lawyer. All the trips we went there, there was no lawyer who stood for us. Three years is the time that we have to pay our debt. Three years is the time that we have to pay our debt. Three years is the time that we have to pay our debt. When we reach the place, they all talk, but nobody among us is allowed to talk. Even if they come and bring your file and call your name, we are always sitting down because and bend our heads. So, we Because our lawyers told us not to answer to them. Because the crime didn't happen at that place. If the crime happened or whatever happened, happened at Serekunda. Why should they take the case to that place? So if they talk to us, let's ignore them. But Mr. Ture, you're telling this commission that besides that fact, you were still convicted. Mr. Ture, you're telling Ah, yes. And you were sentenced to three years imprisonment. Can you tell this commission where you were serving your sentence? Can you tell this commission where you were serving your sentence? Can you tell this commission where you were serving your sentence? Can we all got up and stood and said Allah Akbar three times. That coincided with rains coming down. It was on a Thursday. So Samasota Mbebunkonajia Gambiala. It rained heavily on that day and we decided to sing the anthem of the country. And still it was raining. Samawarata. It was a very big rain. So, they said we cannot wait for the rain to subside. So, and we were chained together again. We, we boarded the truck and sat on the floor of the truck. We, all of us became wet. Our bodies became wet. We arrived around 7 o'clock prayer time. So, when we arrived, and that's how we stayed. So, we took our wet, we took out, we took off our wet clothes, and some people gave us some things to wear. So we wore those clothes and took off the wet ones from our bodies. We dried those things till the following day. The following day, they brought jumpers. Jumper Very dirty jumpers. Mr. Ture, just to clarify, so after the judgment was given, you were taken back to Janjambure prison. Mr. Ture, ako puruka jansene yandi. Biring kiti onyen kunduta mansa kongo. Inarala murundi Janjambure kasi bungal to Yes, we were taken back to the Janjambure prison. You so the jumpers the jumpers The following day, the jumpers they brought were very dirty. I said to the people who come here, you give them new jumpers. I said to them, now you bring these dirty jumpers for us and want us to wear this. Nobody will wear these jumpers here. 
come in sana we have been not him guy go more than jumbo do not jang jumbo do not jang because the man there they call him ji so and he's from kiang he happens to be my banter mate then i told him nobody will wear these jumpers here so and an ambula and an off you do they then left us we wore our clothes again sign dole beje wole fond dole tsotra je mele alan ko do man dum mumeka dole ol do there were things uh, some clothes which were not worn by anybody so some people wore those clothes ego uniform woman sia they said there were yeah. not enough uniforms honorable member je narna mol bondi wala ku the dirty ones that they brought some people decided to go and wash those things ye talante mo and they were uh, divided between us nga wala do those were the things we wore that's how we stayed there lundo sotata one day uh, prison police full abije there were two prison police officers do e ka kumande mutu mutu lela one of them is called mutu mutu do e ka kumande bengasi another one is called bengasi ni mutu mutu this man called mutu mutu he was a, a, a citizen of janjambure so ni bengasi this man called bengazi atemu kanilai di ngolte he, he is an indigenous of kanilai bari ntata dawoda but wherever we are nyulu e kalafe pour ngatara kola ya kono do they always want to uh, create problems for us ni mo fulolo these two people because lundo so tantene bengazi na ajuda fa because one day i had an argument with bengazi ako ma janjambure he said janjambure ngatara je fo wuraro 6 o'clock ngaduo watola we go in those at 6 o'clock in janjambure but not let not let you this be je lume 5 o'clock ni dia ko yambe dunna but he the days he is on duty by 5 o'clock whether you like it or not he will allow, he will tell us to go in so now surrounding kola so after that lock up lundo so ta so manda juno suba juno one day early in the morning anata long kundo he came and stood over us atara ndela mol bebe sino ndela be nyala because all our people were asleep it i was mo- the one awake it all mo fulo the two of them came list of people they had a list eko ngulda nsira ngko e munekata i got up and sat down and i asked them what is the problem e konya ko a mo mo dandan na be bole jam melia lan ko nyanda kata turol he said some few few people among you will have to go to go and pound un ko ko turo ko mun i said the pounding they said yes what kind of pounding e konya ko un ko ko lu aju male o faltole because en dolbe bole jana tumu men na en dolbe bole kidi moto lume ko on to manke mo melia lan ko yentol yentol soron without hard labor I said, I said to them when uh, the, the the judgment uh, took place from at the court house we were not locked up with hard labor now you people want us to go and do work for what kind of, for what reason do you want us to go and work i was angry i in fact insulted them so after okola after that bejeto giso mem marta andol prisoner solo manga jabe dun ganna after some time giso who was responsible for the prisoners i saw him coming nga kuma ne ngaye na i called him i said to him come ngaye be bola court tem bo men ye mune fo i said to him when we were leaving the court what 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 did they say ako ha a saita ko moni nga ya saate he repeated what he what was said at the court ako muna tana tol bina janga ba fala nyule ko bi ta do ko la jumalo order di allah he asked them why do you have to come here and tell these people to go and walk who I gave I them who gave you that order ina nyo sabaye fintinda e bay banta he had an argument with them then he drove them out so narana tara wala kono that's how we stayed there bari ngaje ko ndol ka do moro men do moto but we saw that the food that is given to us there wo do moro ni that food wala fi saata ngi ngatara mail to is better for us than being at mail to ninga lo nu ngatu woto had we known we we would have stayed there janne be murun la mail to ko tege before they bring us to mail to nga karikelen til tan ni lule ke je we spent one month 15 days there wo karikelen til tal den lulo ko no within that those few, one month 15 days uh, sungaro ko no in the ramadan ungaro tiltang labang on the, the last 10 days of the ramadan ntanga sasa soro that's the time i became i felt sick wasasa kono 
In my sickness, I called them. I called Jesus. I said to him, I am sick. I asked him, can I get medication? Can I, uh, can I be visited by a doctor? Doctor When the doctor came and looked at me, but before he came, it took a long time. So after after he came, he prescribed a medicine for me. So when we go, go to the court, when coming, some people offer us some money. So these monies are given to this prison officer to keep it for us. List down. And he lists it down. So unka na na mburo sa We buy. We use that money to buy bread. Suntera mburo. The bread we use to cut our fasts. We have to buy that because they don't give us bread every day. The ones we found there, on the night of the Ramadan, they were unable to get bread. So, when we go to the courthouse on the way back, we buy a lot of bread. So, when coming, we buy 42 loaves of bread. Because uh, we had some provisions with us, like milk and others. Mr. Ture, so it is correct that you're telling this commission that you served part of your sentence in Janjambure? Mr. Ture, I'm not a new Tony Altica for a car for commission in Nenko. It is so long, you which only got a team will be your big la Janjambur Casibumal. And then you were later transferred to serve the rest in mile two central prison. In other neighbor, the Janjambur, yes, on the Casibumba, do remember mile two young, yes, or in Jeffana. Mebola, Mebola Macata, two moments, and I wouldn't find Samale and Bute for mile two. The day I was leaving Macata to come to mile two. We came under the rain. I was beaten by the rain up to my two. Can you tell this commission if you served your whole sentence of three years? I don't know if you served your whole sentence of three years. I don't know if you served your whole sentence of three years. I don't know if you served your whole sentence. No, I didn't spend all the uh, 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 prison sentence. And can you explain to this commission how your release came about? Yes, I don't know if you served your whole sentence of three years. I don't know if you served your whole sentence. I spent eight months and four days in prison. So, when we were brought back to mile two, mile two, after reaching mile two, after operation commander, we found out that the operation commander, Ibrahim Ajami, Ibrahim Ajami, known as known as Tochora. And his Tuchora. nickname is Tochora, known as Tochora. So, Kabirim Fudara, when we arrived, Ture, Abela. This said Ibrahim Jame. Ibrahim Jame too. Can you tell this commission what his position was? For Isafo no commission, we muna mala makamu tinu. One makamu member will go to operation commander mat. He was the operation commander at that time. Was it of the prison at mile two? Mile two jam prison kaso la tlamu la operation no tinu ba. Yes. And you've just said something interesting. You said he was commonly known by another name. And we told you for jam for jam me alango to nyabo rimbala mo hola miko ikafu nyadi le. Ikafu ene ko chief tochora. He is known as the chief tochora. Thank you. You may continue. Nimbara isi ten ten no kapoje. So mfuta tanga menki baro taraje. When we arrived, the news we found there. Iko. They said. Tolmele botana makati. Those of us who just came from Makati. Tola kuaka. Because of us, prisoners will be baby prison. All the prisoners in the prison there will be made to go to the house and go to the house and go to the house and go to the house. Those in the prison who usually get provisions from their relatives and they get other things from people, Ibrahim Ajame ordered it. Ibrahim Ajame gave orders. He said, let them seize all those provisions and food from those people. And they were all put in bags. They went and threw them all away. He wants to see, he said that he wants to see that we who came and those we found there should all suffer. 
Because they are not the radio, the television, or the radio. Because before we left my two, there was a radio and TV. But I will be bondi. He removed all of those things. Come and laughing. Communication. No more communication. So the court. He said they don't want us to communicate with anybody else. I've been in Domoro Kuyaring. And all goes along with very bad food. Futol meliyala ngoko bangkola katara kono. Couscous, which you know, is uh, stained with with soil. Domoro me Domoro ni mambete ya. The foods were very poor. Ab meka di molla. The pub they give to people. The day, in fact, we were going out, that pub killed somebody there. He, a Sarah, he was a Sarahule man. They call him Hugo. Because what happens, it starts with swelling. But if it starts with your head and come down to your neck, you will die. But according to wala kuoto yemenfo yuko amankenda yale amankenda baga na akotolo dunda njala ifan oleta kama. What they said about this man was that he had a mental problem. He had a problem with his elder brother, and he took a cutlass against his elder brother. Yeah. That's the reason why he was brought to prison. He just lived on that kind of food, eating it every day. That's what caused the problem for him. So, Mr. Turo, you're telling this commission that the food quality was very poor at the prison. Mr. Turo, I'm going to ask you 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 to ask you. No, the food was really poor. And further, that the conditions of the prison in general are poor. And the conditions of the prison in general are poor. Ah, you are talking about two women. I follow you. You are talking about two women. Yes, it was very poor. In the conditions were very bad in the prison. In fact, when we were brought back, you are talking about the same, the same place. Let's go together. They took us back to the same place. You are sealed. Let's go together. And we were sealed again. For seven days, because you echo mula luwalt. They said that they are law. Ni nara foy foy sil for ojo or ni nara je foy sil for ti. If you if you arrive at that place, they will have to seal you for seven days. Until you seal you for now. We were sealed. That's how kono. That's how we stayed there. In a ram in a ram bondi kono. Then we were later taken out of the sea. Three times more sealed. So when it was time, complained. We complained. And we were taken out of the seal situation. Mr. Trey, you've also told the commission that you served eight months of your sentence. Is that correct? Yes. And from your statement, you had indicated that you were released after the new government came in. And we lakuma kama safari ngoro yeme muta indije wale mindi ko biringu masa kunda kutoni ntolota watu la miye bula. Ah, yes. Can you tell us how you were released? We saw for no hanika be coming some way. Ilabula roaming a keran a keno ranya dile. Yo, kabiri karte fai wasita. When it was time for the election, o karte fai watu kono. During the election period, mi wanda ko samala be kela karte fai watu. Just like if tomorrow is going to be election day itself, ate 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 kile Ibrahim Ajame kile wona tas fitri mafao ate the same Ibrahim Ajame came around seven o'clock prayer time anata military military confinement he came to the military confinement within the cell or men kono the cells where we were in the cells all men beje the empty cells that were there cell cells all be ako ako e be fita he said, let them clean all the empty cells around 7 p.m. He said they were going to get some guests. Because after the election, a lot of people will come there. So, when those cells were being cleaned, I was standing in my cell. Then I told him the people who are going to occupy these cells will be you people. They, the other, my other uh, comrades in the other cells said, hey, don't say something like that. I said, yes, that's what's going to happen. These are the people who will occupy these cells. 
It is therefore correct to say that you were released based on a presidential pardon. Amunta nyimbe tirinda na puru moya foko. President wala yamfo kang yebula wala kang wala kang. President Juma. Which president? The current president. Membe skuru kang. Hani? No. Portu le ndolu bula. It was the court which ordered our release. Then can you explain that to the commission? Sila mfaisi wa sene andino commission wa yoke nora nyari le. Because kabirin kiti, kabirin karte wa faeta. Because after the election, the time that the election took place, we were taken back to the courthouse. So Then they decided to give us bail. Then we were bailed. During that bail period, our people brought their ID cards that took place on a Thursday. That same Thursday, at night, that's the night that Yaya Jame said he is not leaving power, so he wants to annul the election. So if somebody says that it was Adam Baro who released us, I know I'm not going to agree to that. Because Adam Baro is somebody on, a run, on the run. Huh? People were hiding him. How can he release us? He didn't release us. It was the court which released us. That's what we agree. So you are telling this commission that you were later acquitted and discharged by the court. Amunta say come in for the commission. All of you did go. You are demanding to court the matter now. Kalbula. Ah, court the Mula. Yes, it was the court which released us. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I have no more questions for this witness. Thank you very much, my counsel. And thank you, Mr. Ture, for coming to testify. Yamanko inimbara bake counsel inimbara bake sedo ila songo la puru kanila sedi andero di komiso ngonya ti nongo jang. Ndenga mero nukie pate mo nyancho leti mane ninsa na nyolka u nyancho bari malo nunga fo ture kunda ngolfa na kavuta wali mal. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I thought that the Nyanchos or the warriors were Sane and Mane. I didn't know that Ture was also part of them. But when I came out, I gave myself another name. I tell people that I am Manju. Ah. Yes. Okay. People with the surname of Ture are, are really people who, who are afraid. Well, thank you so much, Emma, for coming to testify. And sorry, you also had to suffer a lot in the hands of um, uh, the system, not just NI, hey, but also the prison. Um, officers as well. And uh, thank you for coming to help the commission to create um, a historical record of um, the violations that occurred. Uh, in this country. Thank you for coming to testify. Final remarks to make, um, Mr. Ture, please proceed to Minister now. Minister Ture, Okay. 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 
Uh, I didn't have uh, better health. I'm a carpenter man. I, I make roofs. But in my hand, but my hand, I say, uh, I, I, I realized that uh, it became, uh, it had a problem during uh, the time I was being tortured. Because I used to uh, use my left hand in most of my jobs. But after using my left hand, uh, 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 hammering too much with my left hand, uh, it, it swells up. So now, sort of, now sort of torturing. I got that uh, at the torturing place. And I usually get winded up. The whole of my body pain. It is my wife who uh, usually massages me to stand on my body every morning. I in fact left this place. Victim center in Dema. The victim center helped me. Nata ta Senegal. I went to Senegal. I got some medication from Senegal. I drank them. So for so demanding for It it really helped me and improved my health. But you what I'm going to I damage because I But within these days it started up again and even at this present moment, because of the long time I took sitting down, it has started uh, troubling me. Ani yamu ta time mo mena sorry wo keta mulu ni nori yamu ta time mo mena ngamu so mena soro ngakono le tuala and also sorry I forgot something the time they arrested me my wife was at that time pregnant I left her pregnant I kare woro wula ani domande she was seven months plus so I didn't want to wulu didn't care alam the baby she later delivered was a male enara fo nyere maene. And they brought the news for me at the remand. So Yafo Usene and at a young command Iafonya. The news was given to Usenu, he came to me and gave me the information. Natana Bunya Murundama. And I gave him back I, the respect I returned it to I him. Bunyata. He took it. Anata Dinuin Tola Antuman Jailela. Then the child was named after Antuman Gay. I didn't know him from Bijane. The child is here presently. There's this uh, young man. And he is here with his mother. Ha. Yes. So I knew I had a lot of difficulties. And these problems really beat me up. Aninga adimo ya mama, ninga wala sang kasam farmasi wala ninga ming adimo ni sitala. I always suffer from one ailment, whereby there is a special medicine I always buy from the pharmacy. If I drink that medicine, that's the time I always get relief. Animo fim boro ninga wala ming. Plus some tribal medicine which I also use. Ayati na man doku doku fenga na because mbe bola Dakar tu mume na muso ni yangu ni yako kana afya nguli masika. Because of that, I I cannot walk properly now because when I was living Dakar, the lady there told me don't lift heavy things anymore. But I cannot do that. I cannot really have a family and keep on begging people every time. But friends that I have with me, sometimes I join them to do some works with them. So, ning awati bota ning dimoni mama nta nte do kwa keno na kasi tanga do kwa nyimbulale. But from time to time, when the pain becomes big on me, I have to leave the job. I attend the phone. Man, Lua se bumata no puru me alongo ni na dimba betara kwa nini? Because ni nkombi watala bumbata ndelele. It prevented me even to take a house, to rent a house where to live with my family. Ani mbalu wala Kenya kwa nkombi ubekela. And because of the sustenance of the family, if I want to do that. Nadi ni wado beje ngadu ni karamu wado wado karamu wada daja wa yata bari kabiri ngi yungkuwa kena na nga jindi ngabu wando karamu wado because mahala kuwa lifengeno. One of my children, I sent him to a private school 
uh, which is expensive. But I had to take him out of that school because of this problem. So I think I'll be grade 11. Eh? Right now he's in grade 11. So now remember Dindi Mani, remember Wokan Wobe Diamond, I be boarding school at Menton Cardinal seven to six thousand. The, the other one, my other, my other child, he's attending a boarding school, which I have to pay 6400 So The house I'm occupying, we are six in that house. I had four daughters and one male child. My three daughters, their mother has passed away. She was my first wife. So we can only not have much doing in one in a million letter of Kalakilamot. Then after that, uh, that's the time I decided to get married again to the second wife, and which coincided with this problem. Uh, I have my other colleagues here, like Modungom, he Modu is Fati here. Modufati is here. And in uh, Bintanyabali, also. Bintanyabali is also here. Uh, and Doma, you will be young in Muson in Kambano, uh, will Mundo Malati. These two people, the lady is my younger brother, and Maria Mature and in Bakari Ture. Maria Mature and Bakari Ture are my younger brothers, and in uh, my younger uh, brother and sister. And then that didn't do be young Buba, Bubakari, Joe Bate. I have one other uh, uh, friend, a junior friend here called Bubakar Jobate. Yeah, you and in Fana Be Na. And also the lawyers who stood for us. I'm praying for them. I'm praying for them day and night. Because they stood for me and they really helped me. Until we got out of this problem. May Allah, may Allah uh, reward them. And you people doing this job, sitting down here, the good job that we are doing for this country, may Allah reward you too. May Allah protect us from any problem. May Allah give us all long life and good health and a uh, progress. Yo, me, me what I'm going to place on that, me, me what I'm going to tell the Gambians, uh, let's keep mind, let's keep our minds on each other. We were all born in this country. If you happen to touch Lamin, yeah, well, that will resonate on Brahma. So, if something is like that, so, then we should keep our minds on Yesterday, this serious problem that happened here, Nobody thought that something like this will ever happen here. But these things were meted out, out on us by mm. our own fellow Gambians. Mm. If anybody also took part who is not a Gambian, they, those people were brought in there by Gambians. So, That's how things stand. So, so I'm also appealing to everybody for forgiveness because of we've sit, sat down for a long time. The, the elder man. Greetings to you. Greetings to you too. Plus all of you here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, um, uh, Mr. Toure, uh, for coming to testify before the Commission. But in the name of the Commission, I would like to say that the Commission is not going to be able to do it. I would like to say that the 